mention the name Mendoza and people's thoughts immediately turn to those big Argentinian reds, Cabernet Sauvignon and high altitude Malbec. But is there white wine too in them thar hills? You bet, and I've got one that's coming right up. Hi there, wine lovers, and welcome to the 200th edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as you should know by now, brings you news, clues, and reviews. Indeed, it tries to keep you up to speed about just about everything that's happening in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is indeed from Argentina, and it's this one here. It goes under the name of Chacana Nuna White Blend, and the vintage is 2019. And this wine comes in where I am for a price of just under 14 euro a bottle. Yes, indeed, folks, um, the wine is from Argentina and from Mendoza province, but as you can see, it's a white wine, not a red. In fact, this wine is from just south of Mendoza, the city, uh, from the Agrelo wine region. That's about 35 kilometers south of the city itself. Now, Mendoza is a city and a province. The city is about 115,000 people, but the metropolitan area is big and uh, has about a million people in total. And naturally, Mendoza is a long way away from the capital, Buenos Aires. In fact, it's a good 1,000 kilometers west of uh, Buenos Aires, very, very close to the Andes uh, mountain range. And of course, that's what makes it such a good wine producing area. Although the climate and the terrain is pretty barren and fairly short on rainfall, so irrigation is a must. Okay, as I said, this is produced by uh, Chacana Winery and it's officially classified as IG Agrelo. Now, Chacana have an estate of roughly 150 hectares, and uh, one of the important characteristics is the elevation. This is produced at an elevation of 960 meters. As I say, this is rather a dry, barren area, so irrigation is a must, and drip irrigation is the method which Chacana use here. Okay, now the Mendoza area is, of course, famous for its red wines, but this is white, and it's a white blend, in fact, a blend of three different varieties, the Sauvignon Blanc, the Chardonnay, and the Viognier, all classic French varieties, naturally. It's a bone-dry wine, uh, just two grams of residual sugar per litre, and 14% alcohol. Let's turn our attention now to the wine itself and have a look at the wine in the glass. And as we can see, it has a very, very attractive light straw gold, light yellow color. Looks extremely good in the glass. So let's try it in the nose now, see how we get on. Let's see what kind of aromas we can pick up. Naturally, we have a blend of three varieties, so it could be quite a complex nose on this wine. Here we go. All right, now in the nose, first impressions, fruity, um, quite abundant in terms of aromas. I'm picking up, I think the determining factor here is probably, probably apple, fairly ripe apple. Um, there's something more than that though. To my nose, it, uh, it suggests a French marketplace with aromatic honeydew melons on show. That's what immediately comes to mind. Touch of peach in there, even a touch of white currant in the nose. So ripe apple, honeydew melon, peach, white currant, all in the nose. Promises a lot. Right, time, I think, to actually give it a sip and see what we can find. Here we go. Now, isn't that interesting? I know from the spec sheet that this is a super dry wine, just two grams of residual sugar, but in the mouth, fascinatingly enough, it feels slightly sweet or even honeyish, perhaps a touch of honey 
is the flavour which I'm picking up here. So this is a pretty dry wine, but certainly in the mouth, we have ripe fruits, um, ripe apple, but also a kind of a honey melon, but also honeyed uh, flavour on this wine. Let's give it another taste. A suggestion also of ripe peach or maybe more in the direction of apricot. And there's almost something there which is almost clementine or satsuma-like in terms of flavor as well. Very, very interesting and complex selection of flavors on this wine. Nice acid bite as well, although not tremendously acidic, but there is just a nice citrusy acidity to this wine as well. It's a very, very interesting and successful combination. And there's one more factor which I would emphasize. It has a slight kind of creaminess or thickness to the wine, which is probably something we can uh, track back to the Chardonnay, which is in play here. All right, how are we going to be enjoying this wine? Well, I think this is a wine which we can easily serve with fish, preferably uh, pink-fleshed fish, such as salmon, maybe tuna. But this is a wine that is a pretty good all-rounder. I think this will stretch easily to chicken and poss possibly even to simple pork dishes. Serving temperature, again, probably for a wine like this in the nine to 10 degree category there. All right, let's bring you the heads up on this wine. This is an interesting white blend from Mendoza, a region of Argentina normally associated with red wines. Chardonnay provides the structure, Sauvignon Blanc, the zingy freshness, and Viognier, the necessary minerality. It's an excellent package, and I'm going to give it four stars out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video. And of course, this was a little introduction to a rather unusual wine, a white blend all the way from the Mendoza region of Argentina. Lovely stuff. I really appreciated this particular number. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Yep, give us a like. We do enjoy getting those. Drop a comment down below, share the video around to your heart's content. And if you haven't already done so, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And while you're about it, why not hit that little bell icon down below? You'll be informed as soon as every new video is uploaded. And naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But uh, until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers.